Hey, EPS uh, folks, this is Bill Quain. Listen, uh, I wanted to show you a couple of uh, quick things here since the uh, <laughs> since we're not dead yet in the water, but I, I, I'll, I'm going to show you something I should have started with because I, I want to show you how fantastic this is once you have your products entered. I know we got kind of bogged down in the entering the products the other day, but I'm going to show you what it what you can do once they're entered in there, which is fabulous. I want to show you one, just one of the things. And then I'm going to show you a way that uh, you can enter the products in with absolutely no pain. I mean, it's really easy. Uh, it show, you import them from a form they give you. It's really easy to do. I mean, we can streamline this thing and make it fantastic. So, um, all right. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you, after you have your inventory items entered in, uh, I want to show you what Counter lets you do with purchasing, which is really great because it adds it to your inventory automatically, and it's just a great thing. So uh, you're on your back office here, so you want to click on the K Plus tab there, which is your add-ons. After you click on the K Plus, then you click on the site where you're going to use. Because I have multiple restaurants running on this on this particular site here, um, so we're going to click on Stockton University, which is a restaurant we're, we're running here, right. and then we click on purchases. All right, so now we got a, a, a purchase order coming up. So this is a purchase order that you're going to be able to fill out so quickly and then email it to your supplier. So the first thing we want to do is where, where are we ordering this from? Well, we're ordering it from Larry's uh, with a quick food quick food delivery or something like that. So we just uh, just typed in LA and up comes Larry's there. Uh, today's the uh, 17th of April, so this is our order date. Uh, we want it delivered on Wednesday, which is the 19th of April. So uh, that's the delivery date we want there. And I'm just going to show you what we do here. Uh, so we're going to order lobster tails. So all we do is type LO and up comes our lobster tails, uh, which is our seven ounce lobster tail. Uh, the format they're coming in is uh, 12 to a package. Uh, we, um, we're going to put our, our price in there. So, uh, quantity. Uh, the quantity first, we're going to, we're going to order three 12 packs. And uh, I know that the uh, lobster tails are seven dollars each, so that's eighty-four dollars for a, a, a twelve pack. And um, so that gives us our um, our our cost on that. And um, and we can go ahead and order whatever else, whatever else we're going to order from Larry. But here's what you want to do: is you want to save this as a draft. And this and this is really cool. There's two reasons to save it as a draft. One is because um, you now have it sitting there, so when Larry makes his delivery, uh, we can check the, the quantity, the price, everything ready against delivery, and then we can mark this draft purchase order as received, and it'll automatically add those uh, three 12 packs of lobster tails into our inventory. And I have, by the way, I have lobster tails marked as a key item so that I'm not going to try to, you know, keep track of every one of my items in there, but something big like lobster tails. I want to make sure the bus boys aren't stealing them uh, and having a party in the back. Uh, so, uh, the other, and, and the other thing is you save it as a draft. Uh, the next time you start to type in something for Larry's, if this is an order you make like once a week type thing, it's going to come up in its entirety. Then you just change the, um, uh, the quantities you're ordering. And if there's any price changes, you change that. So pretty cool stuff. Now, the other thing I want to show you is because we were, we were talking about how overwhelming it seemed like putting in all these products but I want to show you a cool that the tool that Counter has which Scott had mentioned but I'd forgotten about um, and it's um, it, when you when you're adding a product here you uh, you go to products right uh, I've got Amanda here to help me right Amanda you got yes, a product yeah uh, you got products and then you um, uh, you click on add add product mm -hmm. and you see where it says import and export uh, you just click on import and it gives you a, a form to fill out which is an Excel spreadsheet so all you have to do is fill in information about your products in here and this is something you can you know all you gotta do is get a bunch of invoices from your uh, from from your your uh, new customer and uh, work with them and you can put all this information right in there in one spreadsheet clickety clack clickety clack and then you hit import, and guess what? It populates all your inventory controls for you. So just wanted to send this to you because uh, I started the wrong way. I went into the detail stuff first, figuring that was important to cover with you. But 
I want to show you what you can do with this thing once it's in there, and it's a lot easier to put in than, than you might think.